Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at um, multiple different single pack fashions that I found at my local Walmart and I think Target. They all have that Barbie Loves the Ocean symbol on it. All the fabrics in these outfits are made from uh, recycled plastic, except for the trim, apparently. We have four Barbie outfits and then we have one Ken outfit, so we may be having a special appearance in this video. But as for the girls we're using for the Barbie outfits, we're bringing back these fabulous three. So without further ado, let's check these fashion packs out. Cute little Blazo, cute little Blazo. Oh, look at Blaze. He's a cute little baby. Okay, so here's our first outfit on the curvy made to move. The outfit has a light pink tank top that Velcro's in the back. It's a very stretchy material, and it does really well in this body, I think. It says Malibu, California, and Malibu's in rainbow colors. We have a purple necklace here. We've seen this design before. Maybe even possibly in this color, but I'm not sure. Um, we have a... Um, I, don't know if it's, I don't know what kind of bracelet that's considered to be, but it's a bracelet. And it's in light teal. Kind of matches the teal on the M and the U and the California. She does have really uh, a super light denim stone wash skirt. Um, that is not really denim, but it, it's all right. It's executed all right. It's okay. Shoes already came on her. These are her original shoes. This did not come with shoes or a purse, but these are the two accessories for this one. I think this these um, these outfits were about four. Four forty nine or like five bucks, I think, for these ones. Can't remember. Um, yeah, so let's go on to our next girl. So here is the red, beautiful redhead girl in this outfit. Uh, this is a one piece summer dress, I guess you want to call it, uh, with blocks of printing on it. So you have um, a couple different polka dot ones, some stripe ones, um, a lever print in the front, another stripe one. Um, then you have a ruffled skirt, and then it has. Um, ribbon for the shoulder straps in pink and done in a bow and then it's a slide on shirt uh, dress so you don't have any velcro on it which is nice but it comes paired with these stupid flip flops I hate these flip flops with a passion these are the worst Barbie shoes I think I've ever seen in my entire life they don't stay on they get lost as an adult collector I've lost my share I can't imagine any kids being able to hang on to them for that long for longer than a day they don't stay on Barbie's small little feet if they could find a way to click them on, like they do with all the other ones, that slide on and click, they might have something there, but they don't right now. And then it also comes with this matching purse as the other accessory. And a hot pink. Uh, it doesn't open, I don't think. No, it's not an opener one. It's not an opening one, but it has all the detail on it. So it's nice. Um, so there's that outfit. And I think... I think I'm going to change her into the other one with a guitar because I'm not sure if I'm liking this outfit on her in general. I just feel like she would rather try to be a indie guitar player. I really like this gingham style um, baby doll dress uh, that's in white and lavender with a bunch of different floral like purple and blue and different color blue flower florets all over it. So super cute. And then you have this guitar that it comes with which is the accessory, and it's okay because it's a big accessory. It can replace. It can be in place of two or three. Um, is a darker purple. You can see all the detail work in it. There's no paint on it, but there is floral prints on the guitar that sort of match the outfit. These are her original shoes that did not come with shoes. Um, I really like this outfit a lot. Now we have this outfit to put on our last girl, or she might end up in the other outfit. But let's see how it looks like on her first. Okay, guys, so here's our last model in our last outfit. Uh, this outfit, I don't know, it's very summery. Uh, it almost reminds me of, like, I don't know, I, I get tennis vibes from it or something, but there's no tennis racket or, like, track vibes, but there's nothing, like, that would indicate. I guess it's just a, um, a midriff t-shirt um, that is light salmon with a V with red, white, and blue. And then white on the top here. And then the bottom are in that light salmon with um, an elastic band around there. 
in that blue color. I paired it with these flops, which I have to say I'm wrong. Uh, the tall bodied made to move has a thicker small feet. It seems, or she does anyway, and it seems to hold the flip flops very well. Here is our guest appearance uh, by him. Uh, this is the single boy outfit that I was able to get my hands on through Walmart. I actually like it a lot better on him uh, than I actually thought I was going to like it. Uh, so the t-shirt is basically a bunch of clouds. Tie-dye clouds, I guess, or like pixelated clouds. In blue and white and light blue. And then the, the shorts go right above the knee. They're a little tight. I think they're actually meant for the slim body. But they work on him. I think if he sits down, he'll, he'll probably split his seam. But uh, they are like a lavender color jean. And then these are, did not come with him. Uh, he, wear, he was wearing these. But there is a bright hot pink or there is a bright hot orange uh, fanny pack that, you know, they they wear crosswear or whatever, so can't put it on his waist because it, it doesn't adjust. The adjustment on the back here doesn't go small enough for it to look okay. It'll just fall. But either way, um, it works. Uh, yeah. I forget to mention her outfit. Came with uh, this headband and this watch. This red watch. If I did, then well, I'm sorry. But that's all we have for you guys today. If you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Say bye, Blaze. Say bye. She's sleeping, guys.